Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, once again with the man, the legend as they call him, Hal Bell. How you doing today, Hal? Great yourself, bud. I'm doing well. All right, Hal, we're talking Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers went to Baltimore last week, got upset, put Tomlin's record, I guess, four and seven against sub 500 teams. Yes, yes. Uh, tell us your assumption of the game, and what do you look for? What do you look going forward? How do you look? How do you how do you see things going forward? Well, I saw a team that wasn't put up here to play. Okay. It isn't like we want them to win every game. I would just like them to win one of, one of those high-profile games. And within the last five years, as far as high-profile games go, they only won one. The okay. Game we, against Cincinnati on Sunday Night Football. Okay. That, that was last season. Okay, who do you put the onus on? Who do you put the blame on? Well, for the, you know what? you got to put it on our coaching. Um, I think Tomlin wants to wants to be one of the, the uh, guys. And uh, so forth, it, it isn't panning out. And his clock management is a horror. And, you know, I, I, mean, it's some, I mean, it's a lot of things that, that, that really had have to be changed. As far as our drafting, I think the, our defense needs to be filled up. And as far as individual players, uh, you look at Pouncey and Aleppi on Bell, and some of the big ball games over the last few years, uh, uh, those two really haven't played in. Uh, you know what? Uh, going back to Pouncey, every big game that we had in Pouncey's career, we had Okay. And under the salary cap, uh, you have to make some harsh decisions. Right. So if we're going to go into next season without Bell or Pouncey, so uh, be it, because that's the only thing that's going to make us better. Okay. And, you know, these guys being hurt, you can't help the club if you're in a tie. Right. Okay? <laughs> so that's uh, how, how I see it. Okay. As usual, we appreciate the man, the legend, Al Bell. <laughs>